Hey everyone, Lutz Lounge here, and in this video, I want to show you how you can take a video, uh, one that maybe was taken on a tripod and it's it's sort of the uh, beginnings of a time lapse video, and turn it into a long exposure uh, photograph, uh, all using this in Photoshop. It's very, very easy, uh, just only a couple steps really. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing we need to do is uh, obviously open Photoshop and go to File, Import, Video Frames to layers. I'm going to click there and here is going to allow me to open up my video clip. So remember this is a video clip and we're turning a video into a photograph. So I'm going to click on my video here and I'm going to click open and this will give me a uh, little preview of the video and what I need to do is uh, do uh, in order for this not to be a huge long process and very computer intensive uh, you don't want to do the whole video. You only want to do a section of the video. So pick the best part of the video. I'm going to choose the selected range only. And here is where you can take these little trim markers down here and trim the piece of the video that you want it to, to be. So again, in order not to make this um, you know, crunch my computer and take all the resources out of it. I'm only going to do a small selection of the clip. So right around there, depending on how many seconds your clips, uh, your clip is, you may want to adjust it, but you really don't want to have too many photos. You, you know, maybe, uh, maybe 200 or so 200 video frames from your video, uh, will be good enough. So I got my selection there. Now I'm just going to click OK. And what Photoshop is doing is taking every single frame in that selected range and making it a layer in Photoshop. So you can see here, here are all the layers. Uh, these are all the individual frames of the clip. And we have 88. So uh, this should work out fine. Let's see what happens. So I'm just going to take this and make sure all of these layers are visible. Just make sure all the eyeballs are turned on on the layers. And now what I'm going to do is select all of these and right click and say convert to smart object. Okay, so really what it did is just compile all those into a smart object. We don't have the, each individual layer anymore. We have one smart object. Now the last thing you need to do to really make this effect come to life is go to layer, smart objects, stack mode, and then mean. And this will take all the images and find the uh, basically the part that's moving the most in all of the images and blur them together and combine them together. Depending on how many frames you have, this could take a while, but uh, we're just going to let it run. And there we go. So you can see that we turned all those individual clips into like a nice milky waterfall image. And you can do this on a lot of different things. It really works well on uh, water objects that are that are moving, um, uh, star trails. Um, anything that it, that is has some primary movement in it and the camera is set still this effect works really well so that is how basically how easy to turn a a uh, video clip into a long exposure photograph very easy all in photoshop all right guys hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial head on over to the lutz lounge for more info about uh, all kinds of things video related photography related gear related oh, we got all kinds of fun stuff over there so thank you for joining me in this one see you in the next